What's the count? 140. Hi. We should get good secretions. Too much oxygen. How much time will we have? When you cut into the frontal lobe, we'll have about 40 seconds. Then the brain fluid will be contaminated. Give us a nice clean cut, Georgie, or we're going to send you back to beauty school. A little inside humor helps break the tension. Stop right there, Russell! Russell, we need to talk. Inspector, you are in violation of the Mutant Registration Act and are hereby forfeit of all rights. Come with us. No, 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 what are you doing? He's an unregistered mutant. He has to be processed. This maniac was going to kill him. Well, according to the head of your department, this is an internal misunderstanding. No charges are being filed. You haven't won, Russell. You're through at this institution. That's it? He's through? That's his punishment? Listen, when you get to this Xavier school, you don't let them treat you like some caguetas freak. Only I can do that. It's time, my son, huh? Okay, puppy. Dale, vamos. Okay, Angelo? No, I'll call you soon, okay? Nos escribes, mijo. Okay, Holmes. Bye. Let go, let go, let go, mami. Oye, mami, let go! Déjame, chacha! Ya vida, suéltame! Let go, let go, let go! Let go! What are they? Brain waves, Bobby Bird. Nothing you'd understand. Try me. It's the next phase in free market mind control. It has to do with the machine I've been working on. That uh, dream device? No, Bobby boy, not that dream device like I'm some maladjusted computer nerd who makes some machines so stressed out yuppies can catch some decent alpha waves. I'm sorry, Russell. Please, go on. It's okay, Bob. I completely understand. I'll start from the beginning, okay? Real slow. Dreams! Or another dimension, Bobby. Can you grasp that? You know, like, uh, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> this machine allows me to step into anybody's dreams. You know how I use subconscious images in our, uh, 
advertising. Well, with this machine, I can get directly into anybody's dreams and make suggestions like buy Slick Lips lipstick or play Virtua Fighter video games. Only this will be a thousand times more effective because I'm going straight into their brains. And how are you supposed to do that? <laughs> Trust me, Bobby boy, it's a little advanced for you. Russell, this is also crazy sounding. You said the same thing about my other ideas four years ago, but everything I said I could do, I've done. And now you're a chitting millionaire. If you could really do this, Russell. Bobby boy, I've got things going on between my ears that'll put us in the global driver's seat. Now, if you'll excuse me, gotta clear my head. Time to floss. Kiss, kiss. Wink, wink. Puff up, puff up. Are you really gonna take off? Uh huh. Home sucks, man. Freedom rocks. Play more, Kitty. Play more. to say, hey mom, I think I'm a mutant, but don't worry, and I'll study harder. Don't take that tone with me. Do you have any idea what kind of trouble you're in? I didn't do anything, okay? They just, they started chasing me, and... You were shooting fire at those guards. I was scared. Where's dad? Your father's at a conference in Pittsburgh. I want dad. He's catching the next flight out. What kind of freak am I, Mom? You're not a freak. Little girl. Wake up, lover. I'm even better in real life. I told you what would happen if you ever invaded my mind. If I invaded your mind, you'd never wake up. Neither would you. I could do this all night, but we've got business. Yeah. I know you want to be traffic and all, but this bus doesn't arrive for hours. We have to make a stop first. There's a 15-year-old girl being detained in Linfield. I'll be ready by the time you're dressed. Oh, I am dressed. You can't just take my daughter away. She's only 15 years old. She's never been in trouble before. Mrs. Lee, your daughter is an unregistered mutant. Well, we're going to register her. We, we just found out about it. These things don't just happen. They begin when the mutant enters puberty. She was just hiding it. You can't just send her away without a hearing. What about her rights? She's a mutant. She doesn't have any civil She is an American. You can't tell me that she doesn't have rights. Calm she... down. Look, you sit gonna... down. Sit. Both the Mutant Aggression Act and the anti-terrorism statutes operate outside the dictates of due process. Now, your daughter's public outburst was technically an act of mutant terrorism. 
She won't be sent away forever, but she has to be reassimilated. And the mutant camp is the best place for that to happen. I'm sorry. Mrs. Lee, could we talk to you for a wee moment? My name is Sean Cassidy, and this is my associate, Emma Frost. What do you want? We'd like to help your daughter. How? We can offer you an alternative to mutant camp. In what? A strippers club? Don't. Mrs. Lee, we represent an organization that doesn't like to see innocent children taken away to mutant camps. It's Xavier Institute. It's like a boarding school for young mutant children. This is a children. sales pitch? You're recruiting us for... for some expensive boarding school? We just told you. It's a school for mutants. Would you like us to help or not? It's a very difficult decision, I know. Yeah, well, I'm sorry if I can't just hand my daughter over to a couple of strangers who approach me in a dark street. You're absolutely right, Mrs. Lee. But in a couple of hours, some strangers are coming to take Jubilee away forever. And they make no guarantee of the good intentions. You are one heck of a soft touch, aren't you, Sean, my boy? Only with helpless women which leaves you out your mind. Play matcha with me, Sean. I could have you fetching frisbees like a train. Em, um, I've seen you in action, so I know you're good at what you do. But I'd stick to manipulating weaker minds just to keep your record perfect. Can I help you? Officers Hootie and Blowfish with the Bureau of Mutant Affairs. We're here to transport the mutant to a rehabilitation center. Officers Hootie and Blowfish from Mutant Affairs. Here to transfer mutant. Follow me, please. You know, Ed, this one reminds me of your last boyfriend. All men have a tendency to do what I want. Officers Hootie and Blowfish are here to transport you to the Mutant Center. You'll go with them. We prefer agency issue manacles. We're here to help you, darn it. Guys, I want to thank you for that totally bizarre escape number. Your major talent, really. Nah, I gotta go. Maybe I'll catch your, your act on the comedy channel. <laughs> She saw right through your psychic shield, Em. She's good. That's right, Officer Hootie. <laughs> now I gotta go. Uh, no you don't, darling. You're coming with us. Look, I'm sure you guys got some great schemes in mind, which is why you nab me, all right? But I'm a bad girl, and I've got some nasty mutant tricks, so just back off. Her mutant development is limited to spontaneous emissions of luminescent discharge. I also detect a latent telepathic ability. And basically, she shoots fireworks. That's right, darling. We're mutants. Your mother asked us to take you. Take me where? At the Academy, you'll be required to follow a course of training suited to your mutant abilities and interests. I'm interested in body piercing. Well, your priorities are shifting, darling. We're training you to be a superhero. Well, I have to wear one of those uh, goofy superhero costumes. When you've graduated and are able to fight crime, you'll be given a uniform. Well, the uniforms are, are quite tasteful. As you can see, we try to maintain a low profile. Angelo Espinosa, this is Emma Frost. Hi. And this is Jubilation Lee, a student just like yourself. Hi. Hi. Hop in. Seatbelts! Bobby, baby, no sooner do I jump one hurdle than I jump another one. I fear I shall grow in love with myself. You're not gonna believe this, Bobby. What are you talking about, Russell? I found a mutant brain. I was checking them all yesterday to see how our last brainwashing campaign was working on the kitties. And no, the... please, Russell. Advertising, not brainwashing. Advertising is what you dinosaurs used to do. Russell Thresh opens their little brains and pours in product. Russell, what is so special about finding a mutant brain? Mutants are all over the place. This is not just a mutant. This is at least a level three mutant. And they're impossible to come by since that damn mutant registration act. You should have seen her powers. I'm not following. Why 
do you need this mutant? When I was with the program, they brought in a woman who was a psychic and a mutant. She taught us everything about the dream dimension. Then she told us that a doorway exists between the two worlds that blew apart everything we were doing. You understand what this means? No. Why do I bother? With mutant brain cells, I can open the doorway and bring together dreams and reality. Can you comprehend the commercial possibilities for a free market omnipotent super being? What about this machine we've been funding? The machine is a baby toy. I just go into people's dreams and make suggestions they can't resist. With a mutant brain, Bombalayo, the laws of the material world no longer apply. Don't you get it, Bobby boy? I can do anything I can imagine. And I control everything. Is your dream machine ready? It's in cruise control, big boy. Listen to me, Russell. Do you want to lose your funding? No way, big guy. Can't do mutant brain surgery without funding. Okay, for now, let's... Keep this mutant brain thing to ourselves. The board members are not on your intellectual level, and we don't want to scare them away. Let's do the presentation as planned and keep the money flowing. Okay? Okay. Security protocol Z12, mutant orientation, clear in zones 1 through 4A. Welcome to your new home, kids. Step up to the machine and look into the eyepiece. We have to do a retinal scan. Don't worry, darling. The place has been updated since Frankenstein lived here. Place your chin here. Behind the screen and remove your clothes. What? No way. No. Darling, we have to do a full body imprint. It'll just take a wee sec. Then you can go outside and meet the other kids. Football scholarship, man. I'm here to see the coach. Dark. No. Butthead. <laughs> Butthead? Uh huh. <laughs> you know? Hi. My name's Arlie. And that's Mondo, Kurt, and Monet. I'm Jubilee. This is Angela. So what's your thing? What's my thing? They want to know what kind of mutant powers you have. Oh, um, I don't know what it's called, but, um, fireworks shoot out of my fingers. It's called thermodynamic emission. Kurt has something similar, and that comes out of his eyes. That's right. I can, uh, melt glass and see through pantyhose. Ooh, change those. Can't see through your clothes. 
Eh, yeah, well, not yet, but I'm almost there. She feels <laughs> subtle, man. Well, what's your dazzle? Thermal flexibility manipulation. His skin stretches. Your skin stretches? For what? <laughs> <laughs> well, Skin, let's see how well you play football. They should have gone through orientation and then been formally introduced. They should lighten up a wee bit, um. But over six and mind, which you certainly are a tight ass. Now, oh, why don't you wax your chest hair? All right, I'm ready. Hey! Yeah. One, two, three, oh, two! Come on! Go deep! Hey, hey! You can't get that! Oh. 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 go to the bathroom and change. Oh, I'll go with you. Just let me grab my chair. No, it's okay. I'd rather change alone. She never lets anybody see her change. Why not? Because her body's so horrible. Her musculature is completely out of control. She can run about 60 miles an hour and she's stronger than Mondo, but her body's totally freak dimension. They tell you I'm the most advanced student at the Institute? Wait a second, what was your special gift? Speed reading and humility? And there's the experts can tell. I'm perfect. I have advanced brain functions, high-density skeletal mass, superior tissue and endocrinology. I'm immune to all known viral and bacterial entities. I have level 8 invincibility, including high dynamic thermal repulsion. Yeah, well, you're sure repulsing me. <sighs> Little girl, does this sound like bragging to you? I'm giving you valuable information for the good of your survival. Really? Now, how is this all so valuable? Because, little Juvie, none of us gifted children get along very well. And I just wanted to tell you who's the last person you should mess with. Dude, having stretchy skin ain't the kind of equipment that's gonna make you a star around here. Mm -mm. Yeah, I suppose looking through pantyhose is real special. Listen, Dermaflex. You are just gonna have to make it on your personality. Except the fact the mutant god was in a viciously funny mood when it was your turn in line. I think the joke's on all of us, eh, see? I see. There he goes bagging with that little funny mouth of his again. <laughs> You're right, man. I mean, you, you gave proper nutrition, man. What's it look like? Boom, ping, bing! All right. Looks like Schwarzenegger don't got to worry about you. Yeah, well, he better. Because I can become as solid as anything I touch, man. Wood, rock, steel, it's all good. What happens when you eat jello, eh, see? <laughs> <laughs> man, you know I don't like jello. I know you don't like jello. That was. He's very funny. I'm still big. I know, you're huge. Yeah, I know. Arlie, come on, please. Hurry up. Watch this. I think my vision's getting stronger. Arlie, is that you in there? Damn, outstanding glutes. Mm. I know that you cannot see in that bathroom because that is a shielded fire door. But if and when your power kicks in and you do look through my clothes, I will rip your head off and attach it to his butt. You ain't gonna touch my butt. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Xavier School of Live Organ Transplant. <laughs> and that was pretty cool, homeboy. Yeah. Give me some skin. You gotta learn not to awaken the dragon. All right? That's real. I'll be breathing fire. Yeah. You all right? This is our internal security system, and this is Cerebro. 24 hours a day, Cerebro globally monitors all mutant activity, which you will be required to log and process. Today, I just want you to get familiar with working with Cerebro, so I'd like you to scan for mutant readings of level 3 and above. And Angelo, 
I'd like you to get familiar with our security system. Today, we're going to be working on developing a new area of your mind. Like muscles, they just take a bit of work. The secret to all psychic power is being able to relax and concentrate. Wait, excuse me, Mrs. Frost. How are we supposed to relax and concentrate at the same time? I just make believe you're sitting in the bathroom, Kurt. <laughs> now, each of these cards has a subliminal message hidden in the pattern. I want you all to look at these cards and relax. Don't try and see what's there. Just let it come to you. Relax and let it flow. Right before your very eyes. Very good. You all should know that traditionally the younger students do the best at this. Their brains are less cluttered. A word to the wise. Excellent. Now, tonight's assignment. I want you all to monitor your dreams. What are we supposed to get from that? Ultimately, you will see that dreams are the threads of pure consciousness that connect us all. This biscuit is mental. Of course I'm mental, Kurt. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Sorry, Miss Frost. That's all right, Kurt. The ignorant are always skeptical when they're given knowledge. If you can travel in the dream world, you can do anything. So your physical body becomes like a thought, and nothing can stop a thought. What I'm offering you is a new universe. Medieval warriors who had this power could leave their bodies when they were being tortured by their enemies. Are there books on this? The library's full of them. If you're really interested, you could read a study in mutant metaphysics. So, when are they gonna let us go to town? They'll decide when we're ready. Place like a jail, man. They say that mutancy is an unfortunate disease that must be eradicated before it's too late. I can't help but think that the AIDS epidemic could have been avoided. Yes, could have been avoided if we'd have taken more immediate and diligent action. Next week, I'm going to be setting up a committee. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's done, right? <laughs> Jubilee, your mother's on the phone. Oh, um, can you tell her I'm busy, please? Right. <clears throat> Logging on. Connection made. Status normal. Security breach. Intruders. Zone 8 perimeter. Lock gate 2459. Training sequence aborted. Zone D. Zone E J D I breach. Perimeter collapsed. Condition red. Security wall collapsed. I need some help out here! Come on! Three fatalities. Arnie Hicks, Sean Cassidy, Kurt Astoria. Guys, guys! I need some help out here! Guys, guys! Simulation complete. Processing evaluation. Well, initial reaction time was fair. Proper response. Look, look here. When your flanks were attacked, you became disoriented. Your brain activity is all over the place. Reaction time slows down. And that's when the bad decisions come, lad. Procedure goes right to Mother Mary. And all your brilliant computer skills don't mean a thing at this point. Hey, it's all right. I want you to spend tomorrow training on the machine. You've got to know every square inch of the grounds, every tool available to you. Good. Study of mutant metaphysics, right? By Emma Frost. What's it like? It's totally mega weird. It's got some 
bizarre stuff about those threads of consciousness. Can I check it out? Yeah. What do you want to learn how to dream travel? Because I hate this place. I wish I could send my brain on a vacation. Why are you so interested? I, um... I just want to go into my parents' dreams and see why they sent me to this place. How come you just didn't talk to your mom? But she called you. Because I didn't want to hear her make all these excuses, you know? Look here. With continued practice and meditation, the mutant will find himself facing a white light. This is similar to the white light seen by people who've had near-death experiences. The challenge for the mutant is to hold on to the white light and ride it onto the dream web. That means that our cells aren't just three-dimensional. So we're already hardwired for dream travel. Who's your day? Look at this. Emma Frost was involved in a government program developing a machine that could access the dream world. Is a picture. Remember, Russell, uh, no voodoo theatrics at this presentation. Don't belittle what I do. I can't help being creative any more than you can help being a greedy capitalist. I'm not belittling you, Russell. I just want this to go smoothly. Poppy, you're pissing me off. I'm giving you genius, and you're giving me jock itch. I'm sorry. Just a little nervous. Hey. Galileo was nervous when he got his first telescope. Why are you doing this, Russell? Who can say why, Bob? I'm a complex individual. A therapist once told me I could never be truly happy. I think that was a terse and irresponsible judgment, don't you? <laughs> hey. I'm a classic. Low self-esteem. Dysfunctional, overcompensating with grandiose delusions. In other words, I won't be happy until the psycho slut who humiliated me grovels at my feet and anoints me as her god! That makes sense, doesn't it? A woman, Russell? Isn't it always Bob? Well, what are you waiting for? Pop in. Um, Mr. Cassidy, sir? We were thinking, um, we feel kind of dorky having you drive us into town like, you know, you're our dad. I mean, most of us have our own licenses, and it'd be very cool if we could drive ourselves. That would be cool. But if your mutant identity were compromised, that wouldn't be. And I'm not sure you're ready for that responsibility. Oh, oh come, come on! on. You've got to keep your eye on us. All right, enough, you harpies. Have it back by curfew. Remember, being allowed out, it's a privilege. It can be revoked. Like that. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't anybody, though? Yeah. Let's see if they have anything for us, huh? Oh, right. We could get some paper bags and prove our heads. Stop it! Uh, how about this? No way. Come on, just go try it on in the changing room. If you hate it, we're gone, all right? Just go. Go. I'm not coming out. Fine. Oh, don't you know how to knock? I'm really sorry. Just to forget it, okay? Do you please watch the door? These damn locks don't even work. 
Yeah. Yeah, sure. Hey, Mundo. Think this chick looks like Arlie? Hmm? No way, man. Arlie's a heifer. Oh, dude, she's so not. I mean, she's a babe. A babe? Yeah. Big bad buffalo was a babe? Man, she's scared of pimples off a football player's butt. You are so brain dead, man. When I pulled her off you in football practice, she was solid. You snuck a field when you pulled her off me? Well, well maybe a quick one, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you... <laughs> oh, I want to try this on. You gotta try that off for sure. Isn't that pretty? Sure. That's so cute. What? Oh, he's gross. Stop staring at him. Oh, try this no, on. try, look, look, this is, you should try this on, this is so pretty. Yeah, look. Seen you around here before. My name is Lance. Angelo. Nice to meet you, Angelo. Kayla and the girls were just wondering if you'd like to uh, come over and join us. All right. All right, man. Sure. Let's go. <clears throat> Guys, we have a visitor, and his name is Angelo. Hi, I'm Jeannie. Kayla. Hi. Would you like to join us for a banana split? All right. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Don, there's only room for one in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, let's waste it. No, we can't. We're not allowed to touch the townies. I guess he needs another napkin. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Security chamber G110. Access denied. Passcode required. Access denied. Passcode required. It's taken a lot of abuse since I've been here, Lupita, but not from you. Access denied. Passcode required. Check it out, Lupita. Let me show you a little something I picked up when I ran email for the Vario local gangsters. Try public cipher encryption. Welcome to security chamber B110. What is your request? Full security access for student Espinosa. Code beta hexa 90210. Retinal scan or code key? Code key. and gentlemen, our last campaign focused on three products, a virtual fighter, slick lips, and coffin mail cigarettes. We used an aggressive marketing tactic, employing strong subliminal suggestions. As you can see, the figures speak for themselves, number one in all three markets. I'm here today 
to present our latest development, and I promise you, gentlemen, it is a doozy. As you already know, my pedigree is in theoretical physics. Uh, that's how I designed some of our subliminal tools. When I was with the government, we discovered that dreams are another dimension. A device was created that allowed us to access the dream world, the world we all share when we go to sleep. The dream dimension. I've duplicated this device. And I've been conducting experiments by going into people's dreams and making small suggestions directly into their unconscious minds. What exactly is your point, Mr. Tresh? My point is that I can go into people's dreams and get them to buy any product I tell them to. They are powerless to stop it because these impulses come from their subconscious. See my point now, Mr. Harlan? Gentlemen, I anticipated your skepticism and have prepared a small practical demonstration. I took the liberty of visiting each of you in your dreams last night. Mr. Donbury, you should buy the cocktail dress. You got the figure. Would you please get to the point, Mr. Trash? While you slept, I made a small suggestion to each of you that I believe will demonstrate with a soup of humor the efficacy of this tool. At exactly 10 o'clock, each member of this board will have an involuntary gastric eruption. Is this supposed to be funny, Mr. Tresh? <laughs> yes. And effective. Gentlemen, I give you a quantum leap in mind control. Consider the possibilities. when I was going through the system. So? So tonight we're going on a vacation. Meet me there after lights out, okay? I don't know how the rest of you feel about this opportunity, but... I'd rather hit the street with a tin cup than make money the way Mr. Tresh is proposing. He could bring down this entire corporation. The man's insane. And dangerous. I say we call the authorities. He's your loose cannon, Bob. What do you say? He's gone off the deep end. I'll take care of it, John. A two bombers. It's a common anxiety dream, Bob. Replaying the day's events. Russell, please. Well, Russell shows you how this dream suggestion fang works. You can solve all your problems in little bodies by just flying away like a little songbird that tries to spread your wings and shoot. No, please, Russell, I, I wasn't trying to betray you. You, you need help. Who said anything about betrayal, Bobby dearest? This whole thing's all in your pretty little head. Just fly away, little Bobby bird.
These set of trodes induce a deep alpha state. Sleep should follow within a few minutes. Okay, when I'm out there, my consciousness is gonna be separated from my body, so whatever happens, don't disconnect me. Just wait till I come back and do myself, okay? I, uh, I think I should go first. No way. If something goes wrong, you're the only one who can understand that weird book. Okay. All you gotta do is concentrate on the person you want to see. And the web will take you there. we betrayed her. Eventually, she'll understand why we let them take her. I just wish she'd talk to us. I know, I know, I know. Dad, it's okay. <laughs> talk about your hallmark moment. Kind of on Golden Pond with a touch of terminal endearment. What is this? This is one cosmic coinky dick. We are fellow travelers. You're visiting Dad in his dream? I'm visiting you. You're Mr. Playmore. I saw you in the video game. <laughs> That's wonderful. Mutants can see subliminal messages. Tell me more about yourself, Jubilee. Where have you been hiding? How do you know my name? Honey, relax. I'm a mutant talent scout. We'll do lunch, babe. Who knows? We might even eat it. I've gone to a lot of trouble to find you. What do you want from me? It's not what you think, honey. I'm looking for your body. No! What happened? You're gone for like two seconds. Oh my god, it was so horrible. There was, um... My father was there, and there was this, um... There was this really creepy guy. Next time, go somewhere fun instead of tripping out on your parents, girl. What are you doing? Go find me a muy fine chiquita. Take a scuba diving in Cabo. <laughs> Don't go, please. I'm telling you, it's horrible. I'm going. Just remember, don't disconnect me, or I'm brain toast. friend of mine by the name of Angelo. I know you're gonna like him because uh, he's a fine boy. <laughs> Angelo, this is... Uh... Hi, Kayla. Hi. Hi, Kayla. Honey. Angelo and me gotta go talk some business, but I promise you Angelo will come a calling and you will certainly want to go out with him. <laughs> yeah. That's nice, ain't it? She's a fine girl. 
So, uh, tell me a little something about yourself, Angelo. You don't seem like the usual dream web riffraff. Your skin tone seems rather muted, shall we say. I'd say you have a certain genus, eh? Hey? Wow. That's him. You got a friend out here in Dreamland. Well, better go. What's wrong with him? I don't know. I think he's asleep. Monocot. You see the parallel leaf venation? Mm -hmm. The flower parts are normally in multiples of three, lacking vascular cambium. Cool. Cool. Uh, Arlie, I was wondering something. Um, did you see those posters for that fireman's convo they have in town? No, I didn't see them. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be totally kosh, and, um, I thought you might want to go. With you? Yeah, with me. No way. Why not? Because whatever you and Mondo cooked up for me, I'm not falling for it, so but forget it. I'm serious. Look, Mondo doesn't even know. I'm serious. Yeah.
Hi. Hi. I didn't think I'd see you around here anymore. What about a spoon this time? I'm sorry. I feel like a total bitch. Why? Because I knew what they were going to do to you. I didn't have the guts to stop them. Remember this new kid moved into our neighborhood? Locals decided to wail on him. But he was too young to be jumped on, so I tried to stop him. My own homies turned around and kicked my butt. I hate clicks. I don't know why I hang around with them. Because if you didn't, they'd be dumping ice cream on you. <laughs> um, you want to walk around? somewhere else. You don't want to be seen with me? No. I just don't want them to spoil our fun. Kissing Quentin Tarantino. What's wrong? Nothing. Let me go find the guys. I'm sorry. Oh no. Hey, Jubilee. Hey, what's up? Nifty. <laughs> Anybody want to get a soda with me? I will. You want anything? Go. All right, man. Give me the details on this hormone fix. Listen to this, man. So we're sitting in the back of the van, right? And we're like, you know, we're moking and stuff. <laughs> and, and she asked me to take my sunglasses off. So I do. And then I look down. Wait a minute, I don't want to hear about no sunglasses, man. I want to hear about your hands. Did you grab a truck butt? I didn't grab anything. Oh. Because when she took my sunglasses off, my power fully, fully kicked in. Ooh. And I'm just staring down, looking through her pants. Ugh. I mean, it's like clear as anything. I'm just staring at her naked thigh. <clears throat> Arlie, wait up. Just mad. There's only one thing to do at a time like this. Let's crack a phony. Come on. Crack a phony. Definitely. Hey, Kayla, how you doing? This guy bothering you? No. Why do you leave us alone, that's okay? Hey, whoa, whoa. Where you from, Pancho? Xavier. <laughs> oh. Juvie school. <laughs> Come on, Kayla, you're gonna get a rep hanging around with this. Loser. Uh, it's not juvie school, man. Okay, okay, it's not a juvie school. It's for special kids. <laughs> it's for retards. <laughs> Look at that, man. Now, you see homeboy finally scored Susie sorority, and the townies are getting ready to smoke him. Oh, I'm really ready to trap some hostility, man. Okay, Retards. <laughs> what seems to be the problem, Muffin Man? Oh, look. More special kids from Juvie School. Welcome to Hastings, butt breath. Get off him! Oh. Oh. That's it, man. That's it. It's 
say goodnight, boy toys. Thanks for coming down. This happens every farmer's carnival. I'm sorry we've caused you so much trouble. No biggie. I just need you to identify them. They wouldn't give us their real names. That one says he's Eddie Vedder. That one says he's Eddie Van Halen. That one says he's Eddie Munster. And that one says she's Edie Brickell. That's right, officer. All those names are correct. Thank you, ma'am. We can go now, can't we? Sure. Amazing to me how much more power a moment of stupidity has over, over years of good work. Hello, children. In case you hadn't noticed, they don't like mutants out there. So when you decide to go down to town, get talked on beer, and then start showing off your powers by beating up the townies, you do more than just break the rules here. You screw up everything we're doing. We could all end up in camps. Excuse me, Miss Frost. They weren't using their mutant powers. Oh, reading this perfect. Well, then explain to me how come the football player shattered his fist on Mondo's nose. Miss Frost, before the fight, I grabbed the stone and absorbed it. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. I respect your honesty, and I'll tell that to your parents. You're expelled. This is all my fault. I got in trouble with some of the town kids. They just came to help me out. If he's expelled, I should be too. All right, then you're expelled also. Guilty as charged. Me too. Why don't you all pack? Children, would you mind stepping outside for a minute while Evan and I discuss your punishments? How dare you undermine me in front of the students? Supposed to consult each other? Look, the rules of this establishment are quite clear on these infractions. We can't have a school without students. And you can't have any discipline unless you demand it. Anne, you're a fine teacher and a hard taskmaster. But these children got a tough road to hoe, and a little compassion on our parts won't kill them. Yes, it will. I've seen it before, Sean. You can't keep blaming yourself for the loss of the aliens. They were my students. I mean, maybe if I trained them harder, they'd still be alive. Oh, Anne. No one can see into the future. Not even you. These kids, they have to learn responsibility, and it's our job to teach them. And I think we're doing a fine job. They've shown responsibility by banding together the way they did. Against me? Oh, you're missing that point. They're terrified of you, but they still stood together. And two weeks ago, that would have never happened. Mm. Well. They still have to be punished. I'll see to that. I've grown them for a month. Arlie? Arlie, come on. I just want to talk to you about this. Arlie, don't... Arlie! Here. I thought you were grounded. Girl, I couldn't stay a whole month away from you. You're crazy. Si. Muy loco. Get dressed. Come on.
going, homeboy? Looks like things are really working out for you and that fine little dandelion. How'd I get out here, man? I'm visiting you. So what's the deal, buddy? You don't call, you don't write, I check my email. Nada. How about a simple thank you? Sure. I'm, I'm sorry. Thanks. You're very welcome. <laughs> so, tell me, Angie. How are things in the real world? I don't get to visit my body these days. Why? What happened to you? Well, I had this really cherry machine I used to like to cruise the fifth dimension in, but somebody cut my cosmic umbilical cord. I know that machine. You do? That's how I travel out here. I thought you mutants could do this without a machine. I don't know, maybe. Emma hasn't taught us how yet. That wouldn't be... Emma Frost. What it? You know her? Heck, she's a legend. She's been uh, teaching you how to use the technology? No, I, I kind of stumbled onto it. Nobody knows I'm out here except Jubilee. Oh, that little mutie cutie. I'd like to get into her head. Listen, Angelo, old homeboy. Can you do me a favor? I don't know. What is it? Well, since you know how to use the machine, I was wondering if uh, you could hook me back up with my body. How can I do that? Oh, all you gotta do is bring your transformer and headset. Don't even need a monitor. Just go over to where my body is and plug away. <laughs> I guess. I... Way to go, buddy. <laughs> all right, now listen. I found out they're holding my body in the Williamstown Hospital. It's a minimum security wing they've got me in, so it'd be real easy to get into. What are you talking about minimum security? Is this a hospital or a jail? Well, Pee Wee. It's kind of both. See, they thought I was crazy for inventing this machine, so they cut my cord and locked me up. I just want to sleep in my own bed. That's not unreasonable. So you'll do it? I'm not breaking into jail. Don't you have any decency? Or just said the gratitude? I'm the guy I have needs! You think I'm just here to be your dream grid guru? I want out of here! I want to hit the big time! I can't break into jail! I want my body back! Listen, it's no sit back! You help me, or I'll jump into your dreams and give you eight hours of hell every night! Then I'll do the same to your honey skinned girlfriend. And if that doesn't work, Please, don't hurt her. I'll help you. Go to sleep now, honey. Stay away from her. That's the Angela we know and love.
liked it so much, I bought the company. You are really a multi-talented individual. You know that? Oh, that you're talent. Angelo, old homie of mine, I gotta ask you for just one more little thing. What the hell you want from me now, man? <laughs> Your brain. You may, or may not, want to know that I only need a single mutant cell from the pineal region of your brain. Of course, I, I will have to chop through the rest of your brain to get to it. Oh well. Must get my rest. Surgery at the crack of dawn. Sleep tight, little chipmunk. Store your nuts in your cheeks. Skin was at the end of my bed. He needs help, guys. You gotta believe me. I believe you, darling. Go on. All right, well, Skin found your dream machine, and we were messing with it, going on to that dream web that you wrote about. I should have destroyed that machine. Yeah, well, this other guy must get the same catalog, because you are not the only one out there with one of these machines. There's this really creepy guy, and he's got Skin, and he's gonna cut open his brain. Russell Trash. Who's that? Russell Trash. He was with me in the program. He formulated some very powerful theories on mutant psychic potential. I learned a lot from him. So what happened? He was thrown out of the program because he wanted to remove the X factor from a mutant's brain and inject it into his own. Could that work? Possibly. We never let him try. Well, wh what are we going to do? I mean, we got to help Skin. We will, darling. How do we do it? The only way for us to get to him on time is if I open the doorway. But I'm loath to do that. What is this doorway? It's an opening between the dream world and our everyday world. But I thought it only exists when you're sleeping. It's another dimension. It's always there. Dreams are just another way of getting to it. People use technology to break through because it's too hard to develop their psychic powers. Right. Uh, we've got to get started. QB, go wake up the others. Yeah. So what is it you're not seeing? Something I'm really worried about. If Tresh has spent this much time in dream space, he may have already mutated and developed the X Factor. If he did that, he could be too strong to defeat. Well, that's a comforting thought. Try and leave that out of me pep talk. Well, this is a strange kind of commencement. But we live in strange times. I just want you to know that we're proud of you. Do your best. One last thing. Once I open the doorway, I'm going to try and bring his entire building onto the dream web because I don't want him to know what we're doing until it's too late. I will be using all my powers to keep the illusion on the dream web so I won't be able to be with you. If at any time you see the doorway reopen, run like hell through it. It means that we have won or lost, but it will be your last chance to get back home. I'd like to say something to Arlie. Because this might be my last chance. I just wanted you to know that um, my power kicked in at a really bad time. But, you know, I stopped myself. 
before, you know, before I saw anything. Sorry I hurt you. Right. Now let's go pick a fight. Angelo, I, I'm sure you think I'm some kind of really insensitive jerk, but I want you to know I've really been troubled by something, and I don't think I can continue without getting this off my chest. I really hate your hair. And I mean, for you to die looking so completely tasteless, it's, it's tragic. So I'm gonna send you out with style. Alec has to go. <laughs> Little mutant girl. You came to play with Uncle Ra's how? Special. Now you just sit up on that bench. It'll be your turn next. Pretty good at beating up children. Well, thank you so much. I'm really just a beginner, but I know I can improve. Right.
You said you were just going out for milk. Everybody go! Come on! Move! Move! Just the two of us. That's right, Russell. You can't win! I'm surging with psychic steroids. I don't intend to win. I'm gonna take you with me. Just you and me falling forever through the abyss. I don't think I'm ready for that kind of commitment. I want full enlightenment. Dr. D's gone corporate. Can you dance? Cap him with a necro buyout. Bam. A causal defenestration, chica. Transparent. Call it. Zap. Oh, chemical marriage? I got Francis Bacon. <laughs> Zap. Ooh. <laughs> Uniforms. 